We are a generation who loves God. We are a generation who trusts in God. We will always hope in God. God is able to give you grace and God is able to help you. Welcome to another video brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry Studios. It is Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here and I'm so happy to be with you today. It is another day that God has given us by His grace, another day to live to the fullest. And my dear friend, today I want to pray special prayers for optimal health. So if you are trusting God for healing, or you are trusting God for good health, then you are in the right place today. I trust, know and believe today's message and prayers will bless you. So in saying that, let us go into a time when we welcome the Holy Spirit. And I want to share a few scriptures with you, and then we'll go into a time of prayer. Precious Holy Spirit of God, we welcome you. Come, Lord Holy Spirit, and bless us. Help us to pray. Help us to press in. Help us to touch the hem of the Lord Jesus' garment and receive our miracle. Bless my dear friend who's watching this video and lead my dear friend closer to Jesus. You are welcome in this place where we are recording and in that place where my dear friend is watching. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Everything that we need is in the Word of God. The Bible says in the book of Jeremiah chapter 17 from verse 14 to verse 15, it says, Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved. For you are my praise. Indeed, they say to me, Where is the word of the Lord? Let it come now. So my dear friend, we need to understand from the word that we must call unto God. We must cry out to God. We see over here in the book of Jeremiah chapter 17 from verse 14 to verse 15, it says, Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. The first thing we should do when we are not feeling well is we should pray to God, cover ourselves in prayer, cover ourselves under the blood of Jesus. You can go to the doctor and seek medical advice understand and know that even doctors are graced to be in the position they are in. I know many born-again believer doctors and they are so awesome. It is always a pleasure and it is always a good time talking to them. Now it says, Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me and I shall be saved. Our salvation, our deliverance, our hope comes from God. It goes on and says, For you are my praise. Indeed, they say to me, where is the word of the Lord? Let it come now. Now, the Bible also says in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 12 from verse 8 to verse 9, it says concerning this thing, I pleaded with the Lord three times that it might depart from me. And he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, most gladly will I rather boast in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Now, it starts out by saying concerning this thing, I pleaded with the Lord three times that it may depart from me. Now, my dear friend, we need to understand and know that there are times when we will pray where the answer will not come immediately. And sometimes God allows this to happen so that we won't fall away. He allows this to happen so that we can stay close to him. He allows it to happen and he does it from a good place. It says, concerning this thing, I pleaded with the Lord three times that it might depart from me. And he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, most gladly will I rather boast in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. So there are certain situations that God permits in order to take you closer to him. And in those situations, you need to rely on the grace of God. You need to understand that that situation has come so that you may be pushed up to another level in your faith, in your prayer, and your belief in God. But through the grace of God, hold on to God, and God will sustain you. Now, once again, I want to share this scripture with you. I shared it with you yesterday, but it is so powerful and it applies to every situation. In the Gospel of John chapter 14 from verse 27, it says, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. 
Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. My dear friend, even in the situation you might be facing right now, hold on to the peace of God. The next scripture I want to share with you comes from the book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 50. It says, This is my comfort in my affliction, for your word has given me life. My dear friend, there is a secret and a key in this particular scripture, and that is the Word. The Word brings life. It brings light. Jesus said His words are life and light. Whenever we feel sick, whenever we feel down, we are going through any trials, whenever we are facing anything that is too difficult, we must run to the Word of God. Read through the promises contained in the Word of God. They will give faith in order to make it through. And furthermore, as you meditate on the Word of God, life is entering your body. The very words used to create mankind are contained in the Word of God. And as you release that Word in your life and in your surroundings, it won't come back until it accomplishes its mission. Meditate on the promises of God and receive life. The last but not the least scripture that I want to read to you and then I'll pray for you is from the book of 3 John chapter 1 verse 2. It says, Beloved, I pray that you will prosper in all things and be in health, just as your soul prospers. My dear friend, I want to tell you that God desires for you to be in good health. And we see this from the word that the apostle shared in the scripture. He said, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health, just as your soul prospers. We need to understand and know that God wants us to prosper. God wants us to be in good health. So hold on to that and receive it today. It will be part of our prayer. In saying that, let us go into a time of prayer. Let us begin by praising God for a few moments, and then we'll go into a time of prayer. We will believe and trust God, and we will see His deliverance. Father, we praise you and we thank you. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for another day that you've given us, a wonderful day to live to the fullest, and we trust in you. We put our hope and our trust in you. You are our God, you speak and you live, and you make a way. Make a way for my dear friend who's watching this video today, and bless my dear friend mightily. Receive all the glory, receive all the honor, receive all the praise, in Jesus' name. And take my dear friend up. Take my dear friend up to a greater glory and a greater level. Bless my dear friend mightily. And as you do so, receive all the praise. Thank you for all that you do for my dear friend. Thank you for all that you do for us. From the small things to the big things. And thank you that you don't leave us helpless. And even today as we pray, as we seek you, you are healing us. You are delivering us. You are healing and delivering my dear friend. And you are taking my dear friend to a place of optimum health. I ask and thank you for this in the name of Jesus. Amen. My dear friend, I discern God's presence. Now we're going to go into a time of prayer. I will pray for you as the Holy Spirit leads me. And I trust and I believe God is going to bless you. So in saying that, let us begin. As we begin, I encourage you, comment and agree and believe. Father, I pray for my dear friend. If my dear friend is in a place where they are not feeling well, it might be a cold, it might be a flu, or something more serious. We just bring it to you right now. We bring that situation to you. And we ask you for your divine intervention. We ask you for healing. We ask you for deliverance. Deliver, my dear friend, set my dear friend free. Give my dear friend good health, optimum health. Let my dear friend prosper. As your word says, heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Heal, my dear friend, and my dear friend shall be healed. Save, my dear friend, who's watching this video, and my dear friend shall be saved. You are our praise, and we trust you. We know that your grace is sufficient for us in all seasons. And through that same grace, I ask you, heal, my dear friend, and sustain, my dear friend. Help, my dear friend, to make it through. Give my dear friend peace, even right now, as my dear friend is praying, and let that peace stay, that my dear friend will be rest assured of your deliverance. Let my dear friend find comfort in your presence, 
even in the midst of hard times, in the midst of affliction. Let your word go forward and give my dear friend life. I ask this in Jesus' name. Give my dear friend the grace to meditate on your word and to take it in. And I pray that my dear friend who's watching this video may prosper and be in health just as their soul prospers. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. My dear friend, be blessed and go up to a greater glory. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus. May the grace of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you now and forevermore. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for watching. If you were blessed by this video and you would like to support us to keep making content like this, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. The links are provided in the description. God bless you and goodbye.